fact that if I'm not doing my job, Catherine, Catherine, you are doing your job. I've been, a prayer, I've been a prayer chaplain for 16 or 17 years, and one of the greatest joys is going and praying with the kids. As much from 16 years ago to two weeks ago, our YFM program is outstanding. Thank you, Catherine. Now on to more serious things. The Board of Trustees is prepared to engage Reverend Cynthia Vermillion Foster as our transitional minister. A transitional minister offers specialized consulting that supports a ministry in navigating change and transition. Reverend Cynthia has been an ordained unity minister for 25 years. She has served as the director of member services for Unity Worldwide Ministries, consulted with ministries throughout the United States and Canada, most recently completing transitional consulting with Unity of Marin in California. She has served as co-minister with her husband in two Unity communities. Her website is most appropriately named Open Heart Consulting. Our meetings between me and she, she and I, whether one-on-one -on -one between she and I, and or with part of the board or the entire board have allowed us to appreciate the complementary skills of and passion with which she serves as a transitional minister recommended to us by Unity Worldwide Ministries. In her most recent blog post, Reverend Cynthia concluded with these words, we are all part of one another. There is no other. The other is us. Marginalization of anyone harms all. Embracing inclusion means opening ourselves to the beauty of diversity in one another and finding ways to open our hearts to all. This is a journey that will continually call us further and higher, and it is a journey well worth the time and effort. Your Board of Trustees is committed to involving you in actions that lead to our decisions. So, we have arranged for Reverend Cynthia to be present with all of us here at Unity Church of the Hills in two weeks, the weekend of April 14th through 16th. That's fine. <laughs> we all will have plenty of time to meet with her, listen to her, ask her questions, and answer questions she will surely ask of us. The schedule for that weekend is still being developed, mostly by Neil, thank goodness. However, we promise you that she will be here on this platform Sunday, April 16th, for our 1130 service and for the congregational meeting that we've been promoting that will follow the service that day. I am excited, the board is excited. We want you to be open to that excitement. Thank you.